Make sure to check out our sponsor, Cell Phone Buyers Recyclers. They want to buy your cell phone all broken or you're just trying to get rid of it. You can contact them right at the number on the screen, text or call. Also, their social media and website is in the description. It's definitely more convenient. If you share their social media accounts on social media, get a chance to win an iPhone. Go check them out. All right, man. Uh, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving have ruled out coming back for the restart of the 2019-2020 season in the NBA. That's going to be July 31st. I'll explain the details. Also, it seems that the Knicks will hire Tom Thibodeau to be that coach. It's rumors going out there on Bleach Report saying that it's just, you know, other interviews are just courtesy interviews and that Thibodeau is probably going to be the New York Knicks next head coach. Let's talk about it. we back. Good for the Sports TV. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And um, we can talk about KD and them first, man. Uh, a lot of people, you you always get these, these clear people in the comment section saying, well, you know, take their checks away if they don't play. Well, Kyrie had um season ending shoulder surgery you know what i'm saying um kd blew his achilles out so what's the point of rushing back why well, i'm gonna rush back for a title that don't count that's gonna have an asterisk by it when we could rest up in the season it's supposed to start december 1st next year somebody told me in the comment section so the season end i mean it's the season in october 12th the draft is october 15th the lottery is august 25th so you're telling me they're going to have about six weeks off and then start the season again? That's just a recipe for disaster, but that's another story for another day. I don't mind KD and Kyrie sitting out. You know what I'm saying? I really think Kyrie probably could be healthy enough to play. He said he may show up to support his teammates on the bench. But if you're not going to play during, during you know, with this, the safety protocols because of the corona, it's probably best that you not sit at the end of the bench. All right, I did feel like they made a mistake bringing Kyrie there. I think I thought DeAndre Russell was starting to fit well there. Um, I thought him and Karis LeVert and Allen had a good thing going. I thought eight, uh, Kevin Durant could have assisted them. They could have got another star. If they could have got Jimmy to come there or somebody like that, maybe it would have worked. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I do think if Kyrie and Kevin Durant can stay healthy and they can form a rapport or camaraderie with each other, they can be deadly. But... I'm not knocking them for not playing shoulder. Sir, sir, is is serious. Kyrie didn't had this, you no, know, shoulder issue all season. You know what I'm saying? And now, you know, Kevin Durant, he may feel good enough, but do you really want to chance it and blow it out again? That's what happened to John Wall. John Wall slipped at the crib. That was his story, and he reblew his Achilles heel, Achilles out. So it's no really need to rush it. Um, KD said he been rehabbing in L.A. and not having to. Travel with the team has really, really helped his healing process. So he probably going to stay in L.A., rehab his Achilles. And a lot of people say, well, KD would be fine because his game isn't predicated off athleticism. If you see the play he made in the finals where he blew it out, he was trying to, you know, make a play. It do it, it, He not Dominique or Jordan or no shit like that, but he do cut a lot. You know what I'm saying? He do cut. He do step back. He do drive by guys. So he's going to be more like Paul Pierce and be crafty with his with his uh with his game. You know, he may have to play more out the high post, the low post. You he may have to be more like Kevin Garnett. I'm not saying Garnett wasn't a great athlete, he's one of my top two or three favorite players of all time. Just saying he's gonna have to pretty much play with his back to the basket, play a little high low. But with today's technology, he may be able to come back from this, but he already has skinny legs to begin with. So that explosion. That explosion may not be there anymore for um, for Kevin Durant to blow past somebody and get to the bucket and all that, but he could still be crafty. Paul Pierce wasn't the most athletic guy. Go back and look at his McDonald's All-American um, dunk contest. It was terrible, but there's other ways to get buckets, and he's skilled to get enough to get buckets. He's skilled to mimic what Tim Duncan did. He's skilled enough to mimic what Kevin Durant did. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Kevin Garnett did. That bare minimum, that, that'll be how he comes back. Um... You know, like that, but we'll see what's come back like, but they won't be returning um, this season, him or Kyrie. So um, I don't blame him. You know what I'm saying? I don't really think Kyrie wanted to play without Kevin Durant, but he had to, and he tried to go to the place that gave him the best chance to still be successful and not have a down year, and that was Brooklyn. That's why they went from, instead of they went to Brooklyn, instead of the Knicks, because the Knicks just didn't have enough pieces 
for Kyrie to get by without KD for one year. I truly believe that. And also, James Dolan is a great A asshole um, to begin with. So I really think it boiled down to supporting cast for Kyrie Irving um, until KD get out. And then next year, you know, we'll see. They're looking to add a third star. I don't think Bradley Bill will be that guy. Um, so we'll see whoever they add. The Pistons, I'm a Detroit fan. They may uh, amnesty Blake uh, if the new CBA allows it. They may amnesty Blake. Maybe they get Blake or maybe they go a different route and try to get somebody to help them out. But um, I believe Spencer did what he can opt out his contract this year. So, you know, they lose some depth at the point guard position. But let's talk about Tom Thibodeau, the guy responsible for Derrick Rose, you know, shorten, you know shortening his prime. Uh, if you didn't know, he played Derrick Rose in the playoff game when the game was out of the stretch, was out of reach. And then in Minnesota, he ran them play, he ran his players into the ground there too. You know, Tom Thibodeau keep getting opportunities, opportunities, opportunities. And, you know, a lot of the brothers came. I, they interviewed Mike Woodson. I said, damn, Mike Woodson? Because he used to be assistant coach for the, for the, for the Pistons. I said, I ain't heard Mike Woodson in a minute. You know what I'm saying? And they just said it's a formality. It's a courtesy call. So he... Basically, like the Rooney Rule, you 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 interview Mike Woodson, but you you already know you're gonna hire Tom Thibodeau, and I don't understand why Tom Thibodeau keep getting these jobs. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, people want to act like the NFL is the only racist league out of you know out of them in the NBA. All four of them is racist. We know hockey racist. We know Major League Baseball is racist. The NBA racist too. You know, it took Alvin Gentry decades to get another head coaching job. He used to be the coach of the, the Detroit Pistons. I remember it. Decades to get a head coaching job. Still don't think he should. You feel me? But Tom Thibodeau is a terrible coach. After what he did in Minnesota with Jimmy and uh, Kat and Levine and all, he couldn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't coach well enough in Chicago for Derrick Rose to win. They couldn't even find him an additional score. He just ran them dudes into the ground. Look at Derrick Rose after that. His body broke down. Look at Joe Kim Noah. His body broke down fucking with Thibodeau. You know, look at uh, uh, Luel Dang. His body broke down. Playing all them dudes 40 minutes every night. He ain't a smart coach, bro. And I watched his team play in Minnesota, and it really exposed that. Derrick Rose was the driving par- driving force. Excuse me, my neck. He was the driving force for why Chicago where, where they, where, was where they at. Without Derrick Rose, you know, Tom Thibodeau and the Bulls would be, would be in the lottery every year. And Minnesota proved that. He couldn't develop Andrew Wiggins. You know, Jimmy Butler wasn't happy there. He couldn't develop uh, Jack Levine before he traded for Jimmy Butler. He couldn't, you know, develop Carl Anthony Towns and all those things. So he keep getting chance at the chances because he white. Because he white. And his defense, you know, his defense ain't even that freaking good. And Chicago will look good, but they had great defenders. Luel, Joe King. Two great defenders, you know, at the time. And in Minnesota, he couldn't do nothing. All that talent in Minnesota, he supposed to be a guru, and he couldn't do nothing with it. So, I just don't get it, bro. I don't get it. He ain't shit as a coach. You telling me it can't be no better better guys out there? M.A. Udoka is rumored to go to the Bulls. Try him before he get there. He better coach than that. You just put another shitty coach in another terrible situation. Let's just let you know the Knicks don't know what they're doing. Who was the dude they hired? They used to be a Carmelo sports agent, Leon Rose. He don't know what he's doing. You know, the Knicks going to be bad for a long time. I thought David Fisdale was an okay coach. He went there and sucked. Your point, your job was to develop Mitchell Robinson, develop Kevin Knox, you know, develop Dennis Smith Jr., Frank, uh, Frank Nia, whatever his name was. That was your job. He out there playing pointless veterans, bro. He out there, he out there play, he's just doing stupid stuff. So his, his opinions will go to the Knicks. Just seem like go to the Bermuda Triangle and lose their coaching ability. But you know, Tom Thibodeau just keep getting shot to shot, and he cannot coach. Get some high school coaches better than him. Brandon Roy probably better coach than him. He's he one of the best high school coaches right now. Penny better than him. Patrick Bear probably better than him. I don't know. He lost uh, that white boy from Virginia, Mac McGlum. I don't know what he did to that boy, but he left. But uh, Jerry Stackhouse is probably better than him. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, for, for him just keeping getting job with the job, you know, you just, you don't know, I don't get it. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I just don't get it, bro. That's a little chihuahua. 
Benny Penetra. I don't know what he barking at. He's crazy. But hey, appreciate everybody for checking in. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you got business questions, cry response, video requests, keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation, cash out, PayPal, in the description. Best way to donate is share, share the video. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. All those links in the description. We've got a Facebook group if you want to be a part of that. That link's in the description. One time for the one time. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We gone.